Welcome back, my fellow sinners. Welcome to the Creepy Corner. I don't know why I'm calling it that. It sounds very rapey. But I said it, so we're going with it. I'm your host, Toxin, your friendly neighborhood sinner, guys. Welcome back. Let's hit another 2021. I without a face. I know you're watching me, fucking pervert. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to turn you into dog food. <laughs> No. Are you okay? That's a nightmare. No. You're, you're having a nightmare. I think I deserve to see a my husband's spot. This one is a more little bit on the psychological uh, stream, but he, what I did like about it, obviously, it's very up to date. It's a 2021, but it it definitely goes with this generation, uh, this type of horror. Um, I know we started getting a glimpse of it with the movie Unfriended, about how it was that entirely uh, that film was shot through. I, was it Skype or whatever we were using back in the day, guys? I don't fucking know. I, we FaceTime now. I don't know what the hell that I think it's probably Skype. But it was all shot through that computer, you know, that computer's camera. And this one is very similar, but it does take place in the real world. It's uh, essentially about a guy. I don't think he works. It doesn't really establish what he does for a living, but he has a house and he has a roommate. So I don't know if he's living off his roommate's money or what's the deal, but... Somehow he's hacked into others people's uh, cameras uh, through, t uh, through their computer cameras. Which I don't know if you can see it, but that one's it has a white tape on it. I do tape it because I don't want nothing recorded. And there is proof of that because I remember one time I was editing. I was not using the computer's camera and it was lit green. And it's like, almost, I swear to God, it almost, it, as the moment I realized it, it was green, it kind of like shut off when I noticed it wasn't watch. It, uh, I was looking at it. So, I don't know if they're watching this, guys, but, you know, stay safe out there for sure. But, you know, because anybody can hack anything, you know. People, especially us being locked uh, at the time we were, because I know it's a lot more freedom now, you know, but I know they are mandating the vaccination. So, but being locked up, like how we were, there was nothing else to do but be on our you know, our consoles, TV, YouTube, everything, it, our desktops, whatever. That was our entertainment for like a whole year and it was fucking crazy and I'm kind of glad it's over, over, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's what he's watching these females and you know what I, I've noticed about uh, a lot of other stalking uh, movies or, you know, people being portrayed as stalkers, like these are their possessions, these things, women, these things are items to them and they belong to them. So if you fuck with them, you're gonna, they're going to fuck with you. But essentially, he, one of the women he's watching, it seems that she's a black widow. She's killing her partners that she's bringing into her, her, uh, <coughs> her home at night. And she's actually one of the first ones to discover that she's being watched. And somehow her, his roommate finds out who this uh, female is because they're watching it one night and they need, he needs to know for sure. So he goes over there and nothing happens to him. He ends up bringing that female over to their house for the night. And he, he's, I don't know, this guy is like, he's on medication. So there, there's another reason he doesn't have a lot of confidence. If you see his house is very cluttered, he looks like a hoarder. And he does have issues with his dad throughout the whole movie. He's discussing that, how... Uh, I don't want to. I don't necessarily necessarily want to say that he his dad was abusive. Maybe you know physically, probably more emotionally and more psychologically he was he was abusive. He kind of beat this kid down to where he was nothing. He had no self esteem whatsoever. So this is his way that he would see females. This is how he would connect with females and feel that he was wanted by these females. Was watching them without them knowing through their cameras. Again, creepy, does it make sense? No, it doesn't, but me and you are saying, me to a degree, but in, either way, I mean, you know, hey, I'm, I'm right here talking to a camera every goddamn day, so. It, it was uh, it was very gritty, and you know, as we're seeing it, he's trying to figure out, you know, he's getting scared because this female now knows who he is, he still believes the female is a killer, and now it's not just this, The it seems to be that the, the killer is going through and killing every one of his girls that he is watching and he's letting them know like yeah I see you I know you're watching and you're gonna watch my masterpiece and see what I do to your things your objects your toys I'm gonna show you what I can do and it's fucked up it's like it's really weird the, ki the killer's taunting this stalker but who do we go for like 
you know, obviously we don't want to go for the killer, but at the same time, we don't want to go for the stalker because what he's doing is wrong as well. But who knows what the hell is happening? Like, he, he's trying to protect the girls. He's trying to, but how can, I even think there's a scene, if I remember, where he calls the cops, but he's like, well, how do you know this is happening? How the fuck are you going to tell them that you're watching them through their, their computer cameras? Like, how do you go about saying that? And then you go and get fuck around and get arrested yourself? I don't think so, but anyways, and then... As we see in live feed, he connects to his computer. There's a live feed. It looks like he's going through his house and he's looking for him. What is going on? Was it the, the female that he thinks it is? Is it somebody else? Is it somebody, you know, someone is just as equally as brilliant as his? Because to, to, to do this shit with technology, you have to be some sort of a genius or at least, you know, have some kind of high IQ because I don't fucking know how to do that. And I don't, to be honest, I wouldn't want to because why would I, why would I want to spy? I'm not gonna fucking do that, but I'm not psychotic in that way. But anyway, we're seeing it, you know, and again, a, a mental movie because once we find a big reveal, the, the it's actually not the female because she comes face to face with the killer and she takes off his mask and it turns out it's the stalker himself. All the recordings, the killings that he saw, they were recorded, they were pre recorded, they were not live like they were, like he was meant to believe he was becoming his dad and it was so dope because if i do need to do the boys next door because there's a part where ray is talking to his dad but his dad doesn't even acknowledge him he changes his voice to talk like his dad like his dad is congratulating him on dra on graduating high school even doesn't give a shit like he be he is becoming his dad like his when his dad died he had nothing even though this this dude was treating him like shit He's, that was the only being he had in his life and when losing that his fucking psyche snapped and became two different people and I can't remember if he killed him or if he just kind of gets locked in his psychosomatic where he locks himself in where he just becomes his dad permanently it was it was good guys like it did keep me guessing I kind of didn't see that ending coming uh it it was good it kept me at the edge of my seat and it did keep me cussing at my tv that was that's what I look for in horror movies. Keep get me engaged, you know. Not just sit there. Yeah, yes. There's movies I sit there and break down everything. I don't talk, but there's other ones where I'm fucking into it, and they're probably stupid horror movies, but I'm into it. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know, it it just varies, guys. We're all different. We gotta accept that. But guys, go check it out. Eye without a face. Uh, I believe the cover is an eye. It's a kind of digital eye, but it, it's a 2021. I believe we saw it on Amazon Prime. It's there to rent. I would probably get it on a Blu-ray, guys. I don't know, but go check it out, guys. Two thumbs up for me. Uh, two thumbs up, but seven out of ten. It there's are things. I think in every horror movie, in any movie, there's always things you could do better. But guys, it was definitely good. Go check it out. Let me know what you thought about it behind the comments. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload, so you can keep up to date with me, guys. We're gonna keep it coming, guys. And like I always say, if you're not sinning, you're not having fun. Beware the moon, guys.